All right, welcome to episode 41. We're going to talk about avoiding if statements. Um, there is a whole no if movement. Um, this is kind of the tip of the iceberg with a whole lot of stuff um, that you can get into with that. Um, one of the main uh, tenets though is basically that uh, you don't want something way deep in your program probably depending upon um, some Boolean value because Booleans don't really contain very much data, you know, kind of by default. But what I want to talk to you today about is statement versus expression based. So if we look at this statement, um, and we have this display time, it's a function. Um, I've gone for ES5 function syntax here, but you could you could do the same thing with ES6. Um, and we've got this if. <clears throat> so if x is greater than 12, then you know we're going to return pm with the x minus 12. And obviously this is you know this this looks really wonky if you pass something greater than 23 really. Um, but just to give you an idea of, of the of the issue with an if statement, um, so we call if and then else you know we return whatever with the with the am. So if we say display time nine, we're going to get nine am. If we do thirteen, then we'll get one pm. Um, so the way that that works. So what's wrong with that, right? We're, we're used to being able to use if statements, especially if you're coming from a language where uh, basically everything is a statement, like uh, like most imperative languages because you're telling uh, the computer how to do something. So it gets into the whole um, telling the computer how to do something versus telling the computer what something is or what you want it to be. And that's what you run into with statements. Uh, in the JavaScript language, um, if is a statement. In most languages, if is a statement. Um, some exceptions obviously would be uh, you know, Haskell um, or uh, F-sharp. Um, in that case, uh, the if is actually an expression. So I keep talking about statement versus expression. Um, what does that even mean? So here's exactly what that means. If we look at display time, I can comment out this else, and it's still valid code. Now, the problem is, is that when I run it, I get this undefined result um, because this function doesn't know what to do. Um, it basically returns nothing in this case. I mean, the reason it returns nothing is because uh, what the value that we passed in doesn't match this predicate, and that's the only place that the return is. So what you have to have is developer diligence in that case to know that you always provide an else statement. Um, and a lot of times, uh, you know, that's, that's very easy to forget uh, providing this else statement because nothing forces you to. So in my experience, the much better way to have more reliable code is to just not use this if statement. Just just remove it from from your thoughts, um, and extend and instead, JavaScript provides a much much better way to branch on something boolean. So now we're still making uh, logical decisions on a bit. Uh, however, um, for first steps, getting rid of if statements and, and moving toward an expression based statement. Um, I think is a much better, or an expression-based um, code is much better because it's declarative. It says what something is. In this case, we're saying the same thing. If x is greater than 12, then do this, else do this. So you notice I still use the term if and else. Um, and if we run this, of course, we get the same value, right? So we still get 9 a.m. This, this, this code works exactly the same way that this code does. Um, but the benefit here is that I can't possibly forget to do that. Because in this case, RunKit's actually telling me, look, you got a syntax error. So it doesn't, it's it's not even syntactically valid code to do that. Um, so, and obviously JavaScript is not compiled. However, um, if you try to run this with uh, with Node or you have even, even the lenient, the most lenient linters, it's not gonna work. So that's the reason why I say use ternary versus if. Thanks. Episode 41, Avoiding If Statements, Step 1.